Thank you. <laughs> what you're seeing is real. April 10th through April 20th in Swansboro, North Carolina. This has been repeated across the country in the last two years. So-called urban warfare training in America. Of course, in the case of Swansboro, they actually pulled people over and searched their vehicles with the local police department. A local listener sent me this video of the Swansboro incident. You see, they take out groups of young officers from across the country in the Marine Corps and teach them that it's okay to go into American towns and cities and take over the city halls and search vehicles. In this training exercise, it became real. They become so arrogant, they just follow their orders and began to search people's vehicles. And as you're about to find out, it's not just the Marines, it's the Army too, in Central Texas. Well, here's some Marines training to search people's vehicles, and guess what? This is some poor Swansboro resident that had to come through the checkpoint to get home. Search the vehicle right now. Well, I'm glad the Marines are learning how to do their police work, and, well, here's two of the troublemakers now that they've apprehended. Hmm. But before you can set up your checkpoints, you've got to first move out and create a perimeter. This is all extremely healthy for the locals to see. It's, uh, to train them that it's all, com again, completely normal to have troops running around your neighborhood at night pulling vehicles over. It's all part of living in America. I wonder what the government's so worried about in the future that we need to have all this training, training to take over our streets. 45. Down to 17. And I want you to go down down in uh, South Water Street to uh, 10.53. Okay. you gentlemen be running these operations? Uh, we'll be out here most of the week, sir. Get ready for the biggest bombshell of them all. The document on your screen comes from Fort Hood, Texas, the largest U.S. military reservation in the Western Hemisphere. In 77 Texas counties, under the guise of bomb disposal, the military is serving search warrants with SWAT teams, civilian police SWAT teams, in 77 Texas counties. Illegally violating every canon of a free society, the military openly invites police state, county, city, you name it, for any reason, any reason at all, to call the military 24 hours a day for assistance. Please do not hesitate. Do not feel as if we are a last resort asset. We are here to support you 24 hours a day. All of our personnel for your agency and other agencies. Do not delay. Signed, Mark E. Crusoe. Captain, U.S. Army, Commanding Officer, 77 Texas Counties. The infiltration has begun. Here's a list of the 77 Texas Counties where the U.S. military, the Army to be exact, 
and specific is operating in, from Anderson to Bell to Williamson. Oh, but one county is conspicuously absent. That's Travis County, the county where I live, where Austin, Texas, the capital resides. I found out about some of this two years ago, got involved, and stopped it. We called Fort Hood. And yes, their military police did confirm that they were even on the local Colleen SWAT team, the town outside of Fort Hood, and that it's going on all over the state of Texas. For more information or to get a copy of the actual document in our possession, go to the website infowars.com.